See this? This steep rise in elevation? This annoys me. It's annoyed me for years. Why is there such a marked and sudden uplift in this area? What caused this to occur? And why is the direction of it opposite to the typical east to west facing fault systems in Victoria? These were some of the many questions I asked when I first came across this strange geological oddity. But I think I've finally figured it out. And if I'm correct, the implications of it are massive in more ways than one. This is going to be part one of a series that I'll be making as I attempt to solve, or at the very least, gain a greater insight into the burning questions I've had for years surrounding the geology of the Ballarat and Creswick region. This story begins with my attempts to decipher a weird geological oddity at Black Hill, which I will delve into in greater detail in a coming video. But essentially, everything began with this point here. This fault, this horizontal line that breaks apart in this section, is something that stood out as unbelievably strange to me when I saw it many years ago. In Victoria, one would expect to see the typical east to west facing faults as a result of the state being formed by multiple subduction events over time that dipped underneath the west from the east, thrusting the land up out of the deep ocean in the process. This is what some of them look like. But now we have this, this horizontal fault. Years ago, I remember looking at this and shouting, why? Why do you exist? And this lack of understanding would plague me for years. I would wake up at night soaked in sweat, where I would then proceed to get up, walk to my window, put one hand on the glass and whisper, Black Hill, until my missus told me to shut up and get back to bed, to which I begrudgingly obliged. In all seriousness though, this fault here is the start of our story, and this story will span beyond this episode. I'm setting the scene for the next few videos, and in one of them, I'm going to reveal the location of a gold-rich line of reef that was sought after for years, but was never found. Yes, you heard that right. I'm going to show you exactly where it is. The knowledge associated with it will be a revelation to literally every prospector or geology enthusiast in Victoria. But to get into it, something pushed this part of the land up by between 40 to 50 meters. This is weird. On top of that, we have a break in the fault, meaning something exerted so much force in this area that it literally snapped this fault in two. And this is the first clue. The second is, well, obvious. Why is this scarp slope so pronounced? If Australia was an earthquake prone area, I wouldn't be so baffled. But since we get minute ones at best, with us only very rarely experiencing major events, although they still do occur, but they aren't common enough to explain what we are seeing here. So this escarpment isn't formed by a traditional earthquake, and it's not formed by the erosion of soft rocks versus more erosion resistant ones either because this is all ancient sedimentary bedrock from the Ordovician era, which was deposited during a time when Victoria was a deep ocean. So the rocks are little more than mudstone, siltstone, slate, sandstone, etc. There's no granitic outcrop or erosion resistant outcrop that's stopping the slope from being eroded. So what is it? Well, I think it's one of the many Horst and Graben sequences in Victoria. It's the only thing, in my eyes, that perfectly fits and explains this to a T, including the breakaway that's witnessed with this fault, which would occur if something was pushing against it in a northwestern direction. But if any geologists are studying this, I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. The rift event between Australia and Antarctica created the Horst and Graben phenomenon, which I've covered in past videos. One part of the land drops, and the other either elevates or remains static whilst the adjacent block drops. The outcome? Alternating sequences of highs and lows, varying in their level of spread. Some Horst and Grabens are short, others quite long, going for kilometres or more in certain cases. So when Australia and Antarctica separated, Victoria was faulted in a very unique way. For the first time in its history, it was faulted in a north direction. This knowledge is actually pretty new to us, so the implications of it are still being explored. But it explains why this fault snapped here. So let's take a look at the implications here. If the land I'm standing on when I took this video is a Graben, then the mountain range that Black Hill is a part of, which by the way is called the Brown Hill Range, would be a horse in this area. Brown Hill was originally a typical east to west facing mountain range, and it still is. But in this area, a north to northwest facing fault was added to it, 
And I believe that this is why this broke apart in a direction that lines up perfectly with what would happen if massive pressure was applied to it in a northwestern facing direction. In the preceding episodes, we're going to take a look at some pretty fascinating things. Firstly, I believe Black Hill was the site of the original river that predates even the deep leads that run from it. I know that might sound strange, but bear with me and try to keep an open mind because I promise my reasoning for thinking this is pretty damn sound. On top of this, like I mentioned before, I'm going to show you where a gold rich line of reef is located and I'm going to explain why the old timers missed it. And all of these topics tie into this video and I believe will explain the deep nature of the leads in Ballarat with the depth of shafts being ludicrous to say the least, especially when compared to the couple of feet that was required to reach bedrock in places just a little north from it, compared to the dozens or hundreds of feet required here. So this is episode one of what I consider to be a fascinating geological series with far reaching implications. I hope you guys will join me on this journey of exploration and hypothesizing. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified of when it's uploaded. And as always, thanks for watching.